Hey everyone, this is Pharaoh Silver, the Pharaoh of Beer Money Finance, back with another Atlas Earth video, and it's time to do something I have been wanting to do for months. I literally made the original script for this video right around the time I was making the Mist Play review, so yeah, it's been a while. I've had to revise it over and over through the months, because you know, things change very quickly in this game slash rewards app. But let's talk about Atlas Earth's rate of returns, or as I like to call it, why I never buy parcel packages. So, if you're a free-to-play player, or an Explorer Club player like myself, a free-to-play plus, you probably have felt tempted every once in a while to supercharge your earnings on Atlas Earth by buying one of these parcel packages, and you're probably wondering, hmm, what is my return on the... I'm going to put the quotes here in this one, investment here, or in this case, the time it would take for you to make your money back. See, here's the thing. For those that are treating Atlas Earth like it's some 401k investment vehicle or something, they tend to forget there is one major difference between it and a 401k or any other investment vehicle, and that is you get to keep your money. If you don't like what's in an ETF and it drops a few points, you get the majority of the money you put in back. But once you've spent money on parcels in Atlas Earth, it's gone. That money's gone forever. You have to actually earn your way back. So it's not so much a return on investment or a dividend rate, but the rate at which you get your money back annually. I've already talked about the absolute best case scenario in my original video on Stealth G605, and I actually made one small error in that, and I will get to that in this video. Uh, he was U.S. President of Atlas Earth about two presidents ago now. Oh, wow, time flies. But what about the average Joe, the person who is playing this casually, only putting in about 40 to 50 Atlas bucks worth of ads a day at most, 20 to 30 outside of the U.S., maybe reinvests his in-game rent into it just to get a bit of a boost out of it, and also boosts as well with the boost here. What would their rate of return be if they bought a parcel package? or reinvests, or buys the Explorer Club for a 30-day period? Well, there's a few answers to this, and we're going to go over them here, but before we do, let's do our assumptions. So I don't make this a three-hour math lesson. We're going to assume the expected value of a parcel is $0.000000158 per second. And to figure out how I got here, go check out this math lesson video I did on expected value. See, a lot of y'all were pretty confused why I made that video back when I made it, but between this and the optimal strategy guide, I bet it's starting to make a little bit of sense. We're going to assume two super rent boost events a month, and you boost 30 of the 32 hours for each event. I'm doing 30 this time because I'm assuming a casual player that isn't going to wake up less than six hours later every super rent boost event. In the remaining days a month, you'll be boosting 22 hours a day, at least in the semi-passive rates. Now, I'm aware because of the extra two hours with the Explorer Club, you can boost almost 24-7 now, but we're assuming you don't have Explorer's Club because that costs $50 a month and that digs to your profits even further. And even more so, with passive rates, you aren't boosting at all, even super rent boosts. Also, I'm not going to assume any residuals whatsoever, so no money that you get from mayorships, governorships, presidencies, referrals, and so on. Finally, I'll be using the 4th edition optimal strategy guide to calculate these return on investments. This doesn't mean I see this as an investment, but ROI is such a popular term to use, I might as well use it here. So before we get to any of this, I do want to say, if you ask me if you should put a single dime into this or any other rewards app on this channel, the answer is always going to be no. And that is not because I'm legally obligated to, but I actually do believe that the answer is no. And nothing you see here is financial advice. This is about math and math alone. With that being said, here are the situations I'm going to be looking at. First, we're going to look at the unboosted rate of return for the $5 100 Atlas Buck parcel. We will then look at the unboosted rate of return for the package that will get you the best bang for your buck as of now, the $100,000 package. Third, we are going to take a look at the best possible ROI for an early game player in the US and non-US tiers. Yes, these rates are different. Fourth, we'll look at the ROI for a late game player. Fifth, we're going to look at what you can earn in the mid game with an ROI. This one's going to get quite tricky, but we got a little bit of a shortcut on this one. 
And sixth, how much are you going to get back for your ROI if you were putting your money into the Explorer Club instead? Okay, so let's get started with unboosted passive rates. This one is pretty easy since we don't have to worry about boost tiers. So the value of the parcel is the same whether you're an early, mid, or late game player. We'll take our value of a parcel at point zero 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 one five eight dollars a second and multiply it by the number of seconds in a year, which is 60 seconds in a minute. And I'm going to take the rent musical shortcut here, 525,600 minutes in a year. And we multiply them together for a total of 31,536,000 seconds. Now we're going to multiply this with our rate per second to get 4.933 cents a year. We know a parcel is 100 Atlas bucks, so for each of these parcel packages, we can simply divide by 100 to get our rates of return. We'll start with the worst package, which is the Google Play's 100 Atlas buck package for $4.99. At 4.933 cents a year, the annual rate of return would be 4.933 cents divided by $4.99 times 100, which is a return rate of 0.99%, which would take you about 101 years to get your money back, and even more if you pay sales taxes. However, nobody is going to pay for this package anymore. At worst, you should be going to the Atlas Earth website and buying the 110 Atlas Buck package instead, and from here, our rates of return is going to be a lot easier to calculate because of the lack of sales taxes. However, the bigger package you buy, the bigger your ROI. The best case scenario for a package is our second scenario, the $100,000 web package, which would give you 32,000 parcels, which is a rate of $3.12 a parcel, or $3.12.5 a parcel, which is an ROI of 1.58%. You can, in this bigger package, though, trade in 202 of those parcels for 101 badges, but we will explain how to calculate that in a bit. This is a completely passive rate of return. You never have to pick up the game for a year if you didn't want to, and one year later, the $100,000 web package should get you an average of about $1,580. These two rates would be terrible compared to today, where high-yield savings accounts hit at around 4%. Matter of fact, these same high yield savings accounts were still giving between 1 to 2% even during the days of very low interest rates in the 2010s. Not to mention, you can get way better interest rates from I bonds, the stock market, and other places as well. And let me explain that you still get to keep your money in those situations. So, to get better rates here, you will have to at least go semi passive and boost. However, the boost tier levels vary based on how many parcels you have. This is going to make calculating things very difficult, especially in the mid game, but we'll worry about that a little later. Now to find these future rate of returns and to make things less complicated, I want to see how many hours we are boosted as well as how many unboosted hour equivalents that would be. Uh, I'm gonna give you an example of what I mean by the number of unboosted hour equivalents. So let's say that in a day, you go 24 hours in a day, but you boost at a rate of 20x. 24 times 20 means that you have boosted 480 unboosted hour equivalents that day. It doesn't mean that you boosted 480 hours that day. So I'm just letting y'all know what I'm talking about here, okay? So anyways, to do this, let's find out how many unboosted hours we would have in this scenario. Let's say that there are 8,760 hours in a typical 365 day schedule. And in a passive situation, a parcel gives us 8,760 unboosted hours. We also are assuming 24 super rent boosts of 32 hours a year at a rate of 50x, this being two a month. We've already said each day you will spend two hours not boosting regardless if you have a super rent boost event or not. So 730 hours total, 365 times two, will go off the passive rate. Of the remaining 8,030 hours, the number of hours that you will have a super rent boost will be 30 hours of each of the 24 super rent boost events, or 720. Finally, the remaining 7,310 hours will be your normal boost tier rate. So we will take 730 hours of our passive rate times 1, plus 720 hours of the super rent boost rate times 50, plus 7,310 hours of the super rent boost rate times the boost tier that you will end up with after you buy and place all your parcels down. 
So the three numbers I'm going to put here, especially for our next couple of scenarios, are going to be 30, 20, and 2. For the 30x tier, you would have 256,030 unboosted parcel hours a year. At the 20x tier, it would drop to 182,930 unboosted parcel hours a year. And finally, the late game tier, 2x, returns 51,350 unboosted parcel hours a year. Now, if we want to find our rate multiplier from the passive unboosted amount total of 8760, that will give us 29.227x, 20.882x, and 5.862x, respectively. Now, just for a tangent, because I know plenty who is going to ask, for those that are curious about the 24-7 rates instead, we just need to do 24 times 32 super rent boost hours for 768, and the rest is boosted, so that would be 7,992 boosted hours at your tier. So in this case, at the 30x tier, you would have about 278,160 unboosted parcel hours a year, 198,240 for 20x, and 54,384 for 2x. And the rate multipliers from the passive unboosted amount are 31.753x, 22.63x, and 6.208x, respectively. But remember that this is going to require either a $50 a month payment to do this, or wind up only sleeping no more than five and a half hours at a time. Good luck with that. So let's start with the early game boosted rate of return first. This one is a little tricky because the best ROI you can get in the game will be the top tier, and then it's all downhill from here. Now for US players, the top tier is 30x and maxes out at 150 parcels, or 15,000 Atlas Bucks. The package that is the closest to getting that much is the $500 12,900 Atlas Buck package. Now considering you should be getting up to 450 free Atlas Bucks if you follow the basic how-to guide, that would get you pretty close to the 15,000 Atlas Bucks you need to buy up and max out. And unless this is going to take a few months, you probably will be watching ads to fill out the remainder of the parcels anyway, so we're going to go ahead and use this package. Since $499.99 gets you 129 parcels, the cost per parcel is $3.87 and 6 tenths cents per parcel. Unboosted, you would get 4.933 cents a year, divided by 3.876 to get an ROI of 1.273%. Well, that's 4.933 cents, so 0 0.04933. Just remember that. So now we're going to take our 29.227x multiplier for this scenario, and this ROI will go up to 37.2%, meaning you should get your money back in about 2.69 years. Some that use the compound interest formula might say it's 2.19 years, and yes, my original script had that, but I have to note, you're just getting a simple amount of money back. That money is not going to compound over time. So 2.69 years it is. And just a side note, this means that yes, I sort of made a mistake on Stealth's ROI percentage return on the video morning in Atlas Earth. It wasn't 12.65%, it was more like 17.18%. He basically got back about 17.18% of what he put in every year, but that counts all the residuals he got as well. And he probably is making far less now that he's no longer president and no longer governor of a few of the states he once was. Now your time to earn your money back is probably even less than this if you trade two of these parcels for a badge. Since 127 parcels times our 5% badge boost would give you a parcel equivalent here of 133.35. This would lower the cost per parcel to $3.75 a parcel, giving you an unboosted ROI of 1.315%, and with the multiplier needed, bring us to an ROI of 38.45%, getting your money back in 2.6 years. Now let's do the non-US tiers. Global tiers only max out at the 20x tier, and at around 60 parcels. Some of the tiers get as low as 50 parcels, looking at Japan and Korea here. I'm going to be here all day if I try to get that specific, so... I'm going to just go with a 50 parcels plus one badge situation for global players. That's going to get you around 5,200 Atlas Bucks. Granted, you should have more than that with the starting bonus if you watch the how-to guide, but I'm going to be real with you guys. That 199.99 5150 Atlas Buck package is just too perfect for this scenario, so I'm just going to go ahead and use that, okay? Maybe you can use the remaining Atlas Bucks for something else. I don't know. Maybe uh, 
max out your passport badges or something. I know that goes against the optimal strategy guide, but I need to think in hypotheticals for this one, all right? So if you get 50 parcels and add a badge, that will give you the equivalent of 52.5 non-badge boosted parcels. The cost for this would be $3.81 per parcel, and your unboosted ROI is 1.295%. In this scenario, we're taking the 20x tier, or in this case, it'll be a 20.882x tier, to give you an ROI of approximately 27.04%, earning your package back in about 3.7 years. Now both 38.45% for the US and 27.04% for global and non-US players are great numbers and would be insane returns in the stock market. But at least, again, in the stock market, you do get your original investment back. Atlas Earth, as with all other play-to-earn games that people see as, quote, investments, if you can see my air quotes I talk about this, you don't get said investment back. And the returns will take you years at a best-case scenario. If that isn't a discouragement to use Atlas Earth as an investment vehicle, I don't know what will. Matter of fact, never mind. I got one better. Let's look at the fourth scenario, late game players. So for late game players, the people spending the big bucks, they're going to be in the 2x tier. And the best package you can buy is the $100,000, 3.2 million Atlas Buck package, which we already calculated. And this would have an unboosted annual ROI of 1.58% if you use it all on parcels. However, we can take 202 of those parcels and trade it for 101 badges. So now we get 31,798 parcels with a 25% badge boost. So the equivalent here is going to be 39,747 and a half non-badge boosted parcels. This would give you a total of $2.51.610 per parcel, and your passive annual ROI would increase to 1.96%. Multiplying this by 5.862x in our late game scenario would increase your annual ROI to 11.49%, meaning you'd get your money back in about 8.7 years. Now, if you already are maxed out on badges, then 32,000 parcels with a 25% boost would be 40,000 equivalent non-badge boosted parcels, which is a straight $2.50 per non-badge boosted parcel, and the ROI only increases to 1.973% passive, or 11.566% boosted, and you get your money back in 8.64 years instead. Again, that is almost 9 years buying a parcel, 9 years to get your money back. Now, I'm going to show you a nice and quick way that you can calculate your own uh, return on investment in this case off of a, buying a package. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take, and this is going to be for a mid-game to mid-game situation especially. I'm going to take a mid-game situation, so I'm going to change my parcels a little bit here. Uh, give me one moment. All right, so I just took a sample 300 parcel uh, account basically. So in this one, I have 157 commons, 99 rares, 29 epics, and 15 legendaries. And what I am going to do, yes, I chose the global tier, and that is because I'm going to see if I can calculate my uh, ROI right here. So we're at the uh, 300 is 5x. I want to calculate buying about 120 parcels. So I'm actually going to see what I'm going to do buying the, I believe it's the $500 package, the $12,900 is what I'm going to get. So yeah, that's what we're going to do. And I'm going to assume that I have already bought, say, all of my badges as well. So I'm going to go down here and I'm going to get my yearly total. So my yearly total here is $151.04. Now remember this because we're going to need this later. So now I'm going to go to the show boost break even chart, like I have here. I'm going to take the total that I have, 300, and I'm going to add uh, 129. So for the 12,900 package, so 429. So I get my actual monthly rent here. Now I tried clicking on it, but the thing is, is that it will immediately click to 801, but you'll get to see the calculation here. And you see that the actual monthly rent is $12.00 and 54.5 cents, and we're gonna multiply that by 12. So by multiplying my $12.54.5 times 12, 
That gives me a yearly amount of $150.54 for the year. Uh, taking the 150.104 and turning it into 150.54, I actually lose 50 cents a year, which gives me a negative 0.1% ROI. Now, this is just buying 129 parcels. Obviously, I would try to get more parcels and try to get closer to that 3x tier, in this case of 450. So whatever I have to buy at that point to increase my ROI is what I'm going to do. So let's say in this case, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to buy... Um, yeah, let's go ahead and buy the $40, uh, 990. So that's like roughly 10 parcels. So we'll add the $40 and we'll add another 10 to this. So it's at 139 and the amount that we have put down now is $540. So I'm going to add 139 and here we get a monthly rent of $12.83.8. Now we're going to multiply the $12.83.8 by 12 to get us $154.06 per year. So that gives us a gain of $3.02 for the year. And if we divide that by the $540 that we spent, then the ROI at this point is 0.559%. That is a very abysmal return rate. And that's the reason why buying parcel packages is bad no matter what. But let's be real, it's the best when it comes to uh, early game, basically the early game, and then it's better on late game as well. It's just absolutely terrible with mid game unless you are trying to make your way to the late game. Now, finally, the Explorer Club. We've gone over the rates for the Explorer Club already in another video, and I run my rates in two ways. The Atlas Buck per dollar and the equivalent dollar per parcel which is just a dollar per 100 Atlas Bucks. And in this case, I'm going to go just based off the 90-day average. For a 90-day period, you will have spent $149.97 to earn, if you log in every day as you should, 10,505 Atlas Bucks. This is the equivalent of 105 parcels, or $1.42.8 a parcel, or an unboosted passive ROI of 3.45%. For a U.S. player... They are likely to remain at 30x, and in our scenario we talked about in this video, their effective multiplier is 29.227x. Multiply that to 3.45%, and their ROI for the Explorer Club if they log in every day is at around 100.84%, meaning you can get your money back in about a year, and this is probably the best case scenario for earlier players. Now, there are so many other scenarios to go over that. Again, it's going to take me a while. And now you have the AE calculator as well to find your own specific situation. Anyways, let's just do one more. Explorer Club for a late game player. So for a late game player with the maximum badges already obtained, we take the unboosted passive ROI of 3.45%, multiply that by 1.25 for the maximum badge boost, and their passive ROI is 4.32%. Now in a 22-hour boost situation, we calculate that multiplier to be at 5.862x, and so multiplying them together brings us a rate of 25.32%, or roughly getting your money back in 3.95 years. And mind you, you will have to get your money back without putting another dime in Explorers Club, or the missions, and we're not going over that since there's way more effort to it than just pressing a few buttons, or buying anything. You would have to never buy another thing in the game for four years to get your money back, and would have to remain active enough to get a boost. And if you think you can just take the passive route for 30 years instead and come back to it to see your money to cash out, remember that there's no guarantee Atlas Earth is going to be here in 30 years nor will their policies on the money in your bankroll remain there. They could easily make a change to their terms of service to just simply zero out any accounts that don't at least log in once every several months, and they'd be completely within their rights to do so. So I hope this ends the debate on whether or not you should invest in Atlas Earth. The answer is always no, never, ever. Don't make the same mistake Web3 crypto bros have made and think this is an investment. If you buy anything treated as entertainment... And my answer to buying anything in Atlas Earth will always be no. I mean, I have Explorers Club solely for this channel. And if I did not have this channel, I would not be using Explorers Club. 
because so, it's mostly so you can all see my progress on here since about half my audience is interested in Atlas Earth content, primarily just like this one. And that's pretty much the video. This one was long. It's been a while since I've done a really long one. I hope that you all enjoy this one. If I have to make an update, I will. Um, but for now, this seems like these are the correct rates. And again, use the Atlas Earth calculator, uh, this one right here that you're seeing over here, just kind of a mess, to find your own rate of return if you so desire. Um, just fair warning, when you're inputting the number on that tier max there, and it is under uh, the 2x amount, that's under like 801 or 1501 for the US, please remember to not click on it. Just leave it be, look at your monthly rent, and then type it into a calculator, multiply it by 12, you know, do all the procedures that I mentioned in the video earlier. All right, everyone, so like this video if you like it, comment your own feelings on the rate of return on Atlas Earth, and don't forget to subscribe to Beer Money Engine. This is Feral Silver signing out. See you all next time. Bye, everyone.